I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Turtle Tactical Truck. That's right, it's a brand new party wagon, or turtle van, or whatever you want to call it. The Turtles have themselves a new vehicle in the upcoming Out of the Shadows movie. And ever since we got those early pictures of what it looks like in the film, I thought it was fantastic because I thought it looked like an old Ninja Turtles toy and I immediately said I cannot wait till we get a new toy of that. Well my friends, a new toy is here and I'm going to take a look at it. As you can see it comes in the standard fully enclosed box packaging which has some really nice artwork on there showing some of the features and all of the turtles using their brand new tactical truck. And if you flip that around to the back side, it again shows off some of the other details with it, along with some of the other things in the Out of the Shadows line. There is some very minor assembly required with this, but it's very easy. It comes out of the box pretty much fully assembled. You do have a small sheet of stickers that you have to apply, but it really doesn't take much effort at all. Kids might need to get parents' help in order to do it. But when all is said and done, this right here is what you end up with. This is our brand new tactical truck. It's a repurposed garbage truck, which totally seems like something the Turtles would do. And I thought that this just looks like a really cool vehicle for the Turtles. And you can see it translates really well into toy form. No surprise, the van or the tactical truck in the movie looks like a giant toy. So obviously they knew what they were doing when they made that thing. But I gotta say, I really love this. I think the overall design is pretty great. So let's look at some of the details here. Now I will say that the overall truck has a nice heft to it. It feels solid, it doesn't really feel chintzy or cheap. Uh, I will say that the plastic used is still kind of that lighter, uh, lightweight material that we saw, but it doesn't feel near as light as the turtle van from the last movie, for example. This actually does feel a lot sturdier, and I like that quite a bit. You'll notice that it's a six-wheeled truck, uh, but when we're rolling it here, you might notice that only the far back wheels and the front wheels are rolling. That's because these middle wheels here are controlling an action feature that I'm gonna show you in just a bit. So kind of put a pin in that, we're gonna come back to it. The overall design is really nice. Now there's really not any painted detail on here. It's just molded in green plastic and yellow plastic with some silver highlights and everything on there. But all of those stickers dress it up really nicely and it gives it a very vintage feel. I love the uh, Tartaruga Brothers logo there on the side. I think that's really cool. There's some really neat details uh, like the little canisters with the hoses on one side over here. We got like the little broom and everything over on this side. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I love the back, you know, with the eat shell spray paint. I thought that was really fun. And of course the front of it, we've got a nice little sewer, right? Sewer lid right there on the front. It's very, very turtle-esque. So all in all, I feel like it's just a really great design. I feel like it's uh, really well made and just makes a really great toy. So. Let's start talking about some of the features because of course these things are loaded up with action features and this is a big truck so you would also expect this to be able to house all of your turtles so let me show you how that works you might notice i've already got leo and donnie sitting right there in the drivers and passenger seat in order to load those in it works very similar to what we saw with like the party wagon and the van from the last movie the front folds down and you can easily just sit your turtles right there on the seats in the front the steering wheel is even attached up here in the front. It does turn, so if you wanted to attach Donnie's hands to it, you could do that. You have to get it shut. You can reach in the windows. You can close his hands, but they sit nice and comfortably up there, so you can sit your turtles there. There's also, you might notice, if you kind of look back here behind them, there's a third seat in the middle back there. So yes, there's only three actual seats on the inside, but don't worry, there's still room to store everybody. Um, so this is really cool because if you want to, that's perfect for a bigger guy like Raphael too. Like you could put Raphael here in the front, uh, but you can see that there's not a lot of space for him. It's a little bit harder to smash him in there. Um, so he definitely fits better on that uh, seat in the back. He's dropping his weapon, so let me move those there. Um, there's a nice big hole right here on the top. And kind of look at that. That is perfect for sliding Raph or anybody right there through the top. And you can get him sitting... Let me actually turn his feet so we can get him in there. There we go. And that way we can actually get him sitting in that uh, third row seat back there. So now we've got three turtles sitting on the inside, and that's pretty cool. But you might be saying, what about the fourth turtle? Where's Mikey going to go? There's actually several places we can store other turtles. So first of all, the back hatch does open. You can actually just kind of pull right up there. 
and you can look on the inside. You'll notice that there is some stuff in the way because of the action feature mechanism, but if you wanted to stuff some guys back here, you could always do that. You can just jam some figures in there like that. Um, but you also have this nice little opening hatch on the top, which is perfect for somebody like Mikey to man the little cannon that's on the top. So if we open this hatch, we can actually just stand Mikey right here on the top. We've got the little handles right here on this gun. And there we go. Now we've got Mikey sticking out of the top, ready to man this cannon. And by the way, this cannon is pretty cool. You can rotate it all the way around. You'll notice it's got two missiles, which has a cool net on it. And you press the button and it blasts your net off. You can see it's got a really great projectile too. It shoots really far. So pretty sweet. But if that's not good enough for you, there's a few places you can stand your turtles as well. You'll notice on the back, we do have a little platform there. This is a garbage truck after all. So you can stand your turtles on the back. Uh, you can use the little foot pegs there. There's uh, handlebars on the sides. So you can have them riding on the back of the garbage truck, you know, just like the garbage men do. Or we've got the cool little forklift thing on the front. You know, the thing that would pick up a dumpster. You can lower this down in the front. It kind of clicks into place. You can fold this front part down and we have pegs on the front as well. So your turtles can actually ride on the front there. So that is really cool because it gives you a lot of spaces where you can stand figures and you can crowd this thing up with your turtles. Maybe April wants to ride in the van. Maybe Casey wants to ride in the van. There's plenty of space to put all these guys in there. And I think that's pretty fantastic. So really cool stuff. All right, we've got one final action feature with this, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna snap this back up. Okay, if you notice, we got these little opening doors on the sides. If you fold these open just like this, you've got this little orange clip right here. You can see this little bar. We want to pull it off the clip and we fold these out on the sides. And then you're, you're gonna snap that little door shut again. On both sides, we've got the exact same thing. Fold that out, boom. You see what we got going on here? Our tactical truck has its own pair of giant nunchucks. What? Totally, and I'm pretty sure this feature comes straight out of the film. Um, so now that we've got that open, when we roll the truck, look at that. It actually flips the nunchucks around. Rawr. It's a pretty fun feature there. So now we've got the ability to uh, uh, get some of our baddies up here. Um, I, I noticed too that like on this particular surface, it's, there you go, if I, I gotta kinda press it down, it flips it a little bit better. Um, I think it'll work better on like a carpeted surface. This flat table, it's not catching those middle tires too much. They're raised up just a little bit and that's why they're not rolling. So if I press down though, see, look at that, it's flipping around way better. So, you know, Bebop and Rocksteady are like, oh, let's get the tweedles. Whoa! Get them, get them! Oh, come on, come on, come on. We gotta get these nunchucks to work here. Right, yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Hey, there we go. Flipped him right down and got him. It's kind of fun. It's totally flipping around on both sides. You can see that there's little articulated hinges on here, so you can adjust them however you need to. And uh, it's just kind of a fun little action feature. I thought that was pretty neat. It's pretty easy to fold those back up. Basically, you're just going to press the little arm inside. You can bend the little articulated points, snap the uh, loose hanging nunchuck right there on that little peg, and then you close the door right up again. It's real simple to store it in there. Um, and that way you don't have to use that feature if you don't want it, but it's totally a fun feature that I think kids will enjoy. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here I have all of the versions of the various turtle vans from the different lines. This is just all the main ones that we've got here. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you side by side what we've got. Uh, so we've got our new tactical truck out here in the front. We'll bring out the vintage party wagon, the classic one there, so you can see them side by side from the vintage turtles line. Pretty sweet. We're gonna bring out the battle shell from the 2003 installment of the Ninja Turtles. You can really see kind of the evolution and just how different all of these vans really are. Uh, this is the uh, Cowabunga Carl version of the party wagon, which is from the uh, 2007 CGI Turtles movie. Super underrated movie, by the way. I love that movie. We've got the Shell Razor. This was the uh, new one from the Nick Turtles line. Very cool. Then, of course, we've got the updated Party Wagon, also from the Nick Turtles tune. And lastly, we've got the van from the last movie that we didn't really even see much in the movie at the very end, but at least we got this really cool toy out of it. But you can really see the big difference there. So 
pretty sweet. You can see we got lots of turtle vans there. And uh, that way you kind of get a look at what the new one looks like alongside all the others. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new turtle tactical truck from the Out of the Shadows movie. I think this might be one of my favorite toys to come out of this new film. Uh, I've always been a big fan of all the different turtle vans. I have a massive collection of them, as you saw. Um, it's really fun how the van kind of reinvents itself with every incarnation of the turtles. And I feel like this particular garbage truck here fits right in. And it makes for a great toy. It's sturdy, it's colorful, it's got really fun action features. And best of all, it's got plenty of places for all of your turtles and good guys to sit in so that they can drive into battle against the foot. So really, really fun stuff. I think kids will like it, but also the old time fans like myself can totally appreciate it too. I gotta give special thanks to our friends over at Playmates Toys for sending this along so we can get a good look at it outside of the box. This is hitting store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. That way you never miss out on one of my Turtles reviews. Hop to it! Until next time, my friends.